Welcome back everybody to another Palm Meter review and the Palm Meter will be taking a look today is a true work of art and it is Atlas by Tumblr Tonics. Now the stuff over here is advertised to be a firm holding pomade with a medium shine and I picked the um, heritage scent on it. There's the MH label. And just as always, this pomade is packed with really healthy ingredients that nourish your hair while giving it a good style at the same time. This is actually um, typical of all of the products in the line of Templeton Tonics because that's what they're designed to do. Chris Templeton founded this whole line of products to provide a healthy alternative to a lot of the hairstyle products we find nowadays. And this is actually my very first product by Chris Templeton, by the way, and it really did not disappoint at all. Let's talk about the um, jar design. I love the aesthetics of this jar. It just gives sort of like a classic um, a very classic, how do you say it, adventurous aesthetic, just like most of his products do. And the arrow, the signature arrow that you would find in all of his Templeton Tonics products just conveys like a lot of meaning to me in the jar design of this particular pomade. And just as in Greek mythology, Atlas carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. And this arrow kind of just conveys like an upward force that Atlas is actually kind of like pushing the world above his shoulders. And at the same time, this product is actually supposed to give you a lot of volume. That's what I like about it. And, you know, the upward sign just shows that this product really boosts volume into your hair by making it go upwards. I, this arrow really just gives a lot of meaning to me. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling too much more than I should. But anyway, I just love the design of the jar. It's green, by the way. It's a green plastic jar. Four ounces. And the scent on it, the heritage scent, is meant to be a tribute to a very classic barbershop scent. But I don't really get um, much of a barbershop vibe to it. Instead, it's um, very um, down to nature. It's a really nice sweet scent that's actually somewhat woody. Like, woody for the most part, but kind of fruity at the same time. And I can pick up some hints of lavender and vanilla. That's exactly what he used. He used lavender and vanilla while making the... Um, Heritage scent. I don't remember all the ingredients in there, but there was sandalwood, there was musk, cedarwood, lavender, and vanilla. That's all I can remember. And I can definitely get the musk in it, but it's not sort of like a bitter musk. There's still a lot of sweetness into it. You kind of get the musk without the um, whole bitter scent of the musk. And there's the really sweet lavender and vanilla scent I can that I mentioned earlier. And so if you look in the jar, you would find like an off-white and slightly yellow color of a pomade that looks pretty waxy, but kind of smooth at the same time. And scooping it out, that's really no trouble at all. It's kind of like scooping out a buttery wax. It comes out very, very nicely. And as you can tell, my hair is just naturally very flat and fine. And let's see what this pomade does when I apply it to my hair. And once I style with it. You see, I'm going to get that amazing volume right there because this pomade contains silica powder and that's very, very unique to me because it's not every day in the market when you find some oil-based pomades that are designed to actually provide volume and boost your hair because most um, oil-based pomades tend to um, kind of weigh down the hair if you use too much of it. But this one does the exact opposite. It really um, boosts the volume of your hair. And applying it to hair is just very smooth as well. There's no tugging at all besides... Um, there's no tugging in it at all, despite being on the um, firmer side of medium. It's advertised to be a firm hold, but to me it's more of like a medium firm, but it's still a really, really nice hold to my fine hair. And it just goes in really um, smoothly. It breaks down not greasy at all. It kind of breaks down kind of creamy, just like it scoops out pretty creamy as well. Now that's um, two dabs of it in my hair, two finger scoops. Just gonna comb everything back. How do you form the part while I'll some blow drying because I just always like kind of form the base of the part sometimes after I just step out of the shower. It's easier I just um, slick it back with water and um, just form my part and I blow dry it so the part stays in place. I don't really have to go through the trouble of really forming the part if I'm in a rush. But it combs like really smoothly. No tug whatsoever, it combs very nicely. And you can tell this stuff is actually slick. It doesn't have like the best slickness in the world, 
but it's just um, better than average. I just really like how it makes everything stay together. I barely get any strays with this pomade. And by the way, if you want to use this pomade, I recommend that you have at least a between short to medium length of hair because if you don't really have like enough length of hair, this pomade would kind of like make the hair stick up, at least for me, because I have like shorter hair, like slightly shorter hair than this, maybe like about half an inch shorter, like half a, about a month ago. And you know, with volume, you can sometimes sacrifice slickness. It did provide my hair with great height to it, but at the front, it still stuck up until like 15 minutes later, about half an hour or 50 minutes. I would just restyle it and actually did look better. But like I said, with slickness, with volume, with extra volume, you kind of um, sacrifice slickness, but not so much slickness is actually sacrificed with this volume, volumizing pomade right here. And you can tell I have a very um, natural shape out of this pomade. It's very nice to um, shape your hair with it. And the shine, let's just talk about the shine on this pomade. I'm pretty subjected towards like a medium to high shine because that's what I lean towards, is what I really prefer. And I'm not really a huge fan of low shines. And contrary to what um, is advertised to be a medium shine, this is actually really not a medium shine at all. It's somewhere between a low and medium, but I'm really cool with that because the shine it gives you is a very nice looking, healthy sheen. It's sort of like um, a healthy, somewhat radiant luster to it that provides just enough shine to let people know the product is in your hair without just screaming it out through their faces. It's definitely not greasy at all. It's a very nice, healthy luster, and I, and I do like it a lot, even though I'm not really a huge fan of lower shine, but this one is just killing it. The low shine really, really is killing it in this product. And this is how my hair looks under this lighting. You can tell that there's enough slickness, pretty good slickness, but not perfect slickness to put everything into place. No strays. And the endurance on this product is just really something else. I mean, with a lot of the um, nourishing products, just like this one, you would find that nourishing products kind of flatten out the hair throughout the course of the day, at least for me, I don't know for you. But this one, it provides you with volume and at the same time it nourishes your hair. And at the end of the day, you still have that volume that you started initially with and you're not sacrificing any of the volume with nourishment in this pomade. It really did make my hair feel amazing and um, actually restyling with it is a dream. It made my hair look better if I restyled it compared to when I initially styled with it. I do have like a really good looking um, contour with a bit of height over here, but it actually looks even better and slightly more slick if I restyle it throughout the course of the day because this stuff actually does make your hair softer. That's why it gets a little bit more slick throughout the day, but at the same time, the volume is still there and that's what I really, really like. It nourishes and softens the hair without making it too flat and without flattening it a single bit. And it really did make my hair um, keep things in place throughout the whole day. And if there's any movement, it's a very, very minor movement. So the endurance on it is just really amazing, in my opinion. And if you, are to build up with this product. The washout in it is actually um, pretty clean for a, an oil-based pomade. It washes out pretty easily for an oil-based pomade. Typically, it takes me about two to three rounds of shampoo to get it out completely for a single use without any prior buildup in my hair. And the buildup on it is also really, really clean. It does not make your hair feel greasy at all. And after you completely wash this product out of your hair, it just feels really soft, really nourished. My hair just feels super amazing as if I threw a tonic in there. Like this pomade pretty much has like a tonic effect to it. It's very like a solid tonic, if you know what I mean. Final verdict on Atlas by Tumblr Tonics. This stuff really, really is something else. And it completely, um, it can completely change the way you look at oil-based pomades because this kind of breaks the rules of a typical oil-based pomade that, in the fact that it, provides you with a really nice amount of volume to it and that it actually washes out pretty easily for an oil-based pomade, but not in a single wash. There's definitely gonna be some product remaining after just a single round of shampoo, but compared to most oil-based pomades, especially for like a firm or a medium firm, it washes out pretty easily. Now, it may not really contain the medium shine that it 
it was advertised to, but understand that Chris Templeton, the brewer, he intended um, this pomade to provide you with some kind of shine that doesn't really blind people and he just um, wants people to actually um, pair it up with something if they want any more shine, such as the um, tonic from Templeton's Tonic. So he didn't really want to give people the super greasy or very high shine look because not everybody's into that. So in terms of this pomade achieving what the brewer has in mind, it really succeeded in that. But I think it's more of an advertising failure that this product is advertised to be a medium shine when the brewer actually intended to be somewhat of a lower shine. I really don't know why it's marked it to be a medium shine when it actually is somewhat of a lower shine to it. And despite this being advertised as a firm hold, it actually is a medium firm on the um, first application for me, but I guess that is fine because we're basically on the borderline between medium and firm over here. It's not really much of a true firm, but it's just enough to be considered as a firm hold. But overall, I really like the scent. And I forgot to mention the longevity of the scent. You could actually um, smell it with you throughout the end of the day. It's not um, definitely not weak. It's not too much of an overbearing strong scent either, but you would definitely get some whiffs of it throughout the day. And this product is really, really worth the money. It provides you with a really nice conditioning effect. It makes your hair look amazing. It's got a really nice low shine to it that actually looks kind of different from a lot of the um, low shine you may get from other products. It's a very nice, healthy looking low shine. And the build up on it, it's very, very clean. And I found that on the second day, it actually builds up to a true firm, but on the days to follow, not much hold is actually really added to it. So it kind of sticks to being a true firm hold without weighing down your hair too much. And as I said, this is a volume boosting product. So you would really not find much um, weight in your hair at all. It feels rather, uh, not completely lightweight, but somewhat less um, weighted down in terms of sensation. Like it doesn't make your hair feel too heavy for something with a better hold. And I would really, really recommend this pomade to everyone whether you're looking for a healthy hairstyling product or if you're new to oil-based products, this is just a perfect introduction to um, using oil-based pomades. It's super easy to use, super easy to style with, and it definitely won't let you down. So go ahead and get yourself some Atlas today. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to never miss a single upload of mine, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay greasy, everybody.